Everyone knows the tale. It's become legendary. Two teenagers from Ohio, children of Jewish immigrants to America, create the most iconic American superhero, a character that embodies the very essence of what America stood for in the face of the tyranny of that age. But most people do not realize that Superman's creation was inspired by mythical and historical characters like Samson, Hercules, Moses, and various messianic figures, and from the contemporary literature and thinking of Siegel and Schuster's time. Some of that thinking had very dark undertones, and their original concept of a Superman intended for the character to be a villain rather than any kind of hero. One inspiration came from a novel called Gladiator by Philip Wiley. Readers of today will recognize the genesis of Clark Kent in the character of Hugo Danner, a small town boy imbued with superhuman powers by his scientist father, Hugo longed for a life of importance where he could demonstrate his unique abilities without the fear of being discovered or accused of being an abomination created by forbidden science. Those superhuman powers came at a great cost, however. So much more powerful than even the most athletic of men, Hugo committed a grave mistake during his final college football game, sending him spiraling into a dark world of his own crime and shame. Longing to help humanity from itself, Hugo enlisted into the latest, at that time, Great War, where he let his powers loose in ways heretofore unknown to him, and his sole actions nearly ended the war. Ultimately, unlike Clark Kent, Hugo never tamed his passions nor his abilities and his life ended tragically. Though Siegel and Schuster made him a hero and had Superman fighting the Nazis during World War II, their chief inspiration for the Man of Steel was a nihilistic character whose genesis was the same thinking of the eugenics movement, where science would be used to purge humanity of its chaff and bring forth a Superman. Perhaps Siegel and Schuster imparted an important lesson aside from creating the iconic hero Kal-El. That lesson was that even from the darkest of ideas one may find a spark of good. Like, subscribe, repost, share everywhere. To see what else we're up to, visit xynobooks.com, xenobooks.com.